Oh, hello. The other day I made a video about my 3.1 kilowatt monster of a kettle. Now, my kettle will not be running at 3.1 kilowatts. There's a rating plate under the bottom, which I won't tip up anymore because it actually has water in it, which tells the truth. You see, there are two things that are interrelated. The first is the current consumption of the kettle, and the second is the line voltage. We can work out with little formula, what is voltage times current? Unfortunately, the kettle doesn't say what the current consumption is, but if we assume the most voltage and the most current are correlated, we can work it out as 3.1 kilowatt divided by 240 volts AC is just under 13 amps. Now we can plug this in and run it backwards. 220 volts will get you 2.8 kilowatts, 230 volts will get you just under 3 kilowatts, and 240 will get you your full 3.1 kilowatts. Unfortunately, I'm not getting 2.97 kilowatts because this is what happens when I plug the kettle in. Now, I suspect the reason for this is because we have an old pole mounted transformer which you can see in this picture here. And on Tuesday, my power is going to be turned off most of the day from eight o'clock in the morning till around about five o'clock in the afternoon to hook up this thing. Now, don't get me wrong. If we look at my previous kettle, which came from the United Kingdom, it's 2.2 kilowatts at 240 volts, which gives us nine amps, which is considerably less than the 13 of this. If we then multiply that by what I'm getting, say 225 volts as a medium ground, it's 2 kilowatt. 2 kilowatt, 2.9. This is almost half again as powerful, so I'm, I'm happy with it, but I just want to clarify that running at 3.1 kilowatt as the box proudly proclaims is not the entire story. If your voltage is 240 volts, you'll get that. Otherwise, it's a little bit less because physics.